nonfiction book coming out in the next six to 12 months? Great! Now is the perfect time to make these two important lists of people. Stick around and I'll tell you about them. Hey, I'm Julie the Book Broad with BookLaunchers.com, your fabulous professional self-publishing team that helps you write, publish, and sell nonfiction books that grow your business and make you money. Before I share these two super important lists with you, I want to pause and send you my deep appreciation. You make my day with your comments, your likes, and your shares of my videos. It's why we now release two videos a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. Fridays, yay, double the fun. You can blame or thank people like Mandy Lynn, Mark James, Miss Amber, Kevin McGuire, Rebecca Wagner, Strong Bear, Fio Shea. These are just a few of my YouTube besties that leave comments and continue to show up and support the channel and encourage me to keep on shooting videos. Thank you to each of you. I really, really appreciate you. Let's dive in to this juicy little subject, which is book launch planning. There are two teams of people you wanna form and the earlier you identify the players on these teams, the better. Team number one, your influencer list. What is an influencer? Influencers are the most significant sales tool from the dawn of publishing. A powerful influencer helps you sell your book. Influencers are notable people, thought leaders, media personalities, or even celebrities. They help by lending you and your book their credibility. A note in their newsletter, a smartly crafted blurb, or a testimonial, or an opportunity to be on their stage or podcast is the difference between selling 100 copies and selling thousands of copies. But not just anyone is an influencer. You need someone respected who has a platform to share your message with their audience. The ideal influencer Influencer also has your target reader in their network. Just because you connect with someone who is on TV, for example, doesn't mean they're your best person to promote your book. Will your reader know who they are? Will your reader, your ideal reader, trust what they say? These are people in the spotlight, well known already for their work in your industry or around a similar industry. I'm talking about the Jillian Michaels of fitness, the Ryan Holidays of marketing, the Tim Cook of technology, or Sarah Blakely of building billion dollar businesses, the Lori Grainer of inventions, that kind of thing. But also, less are known still highly influential folks that have big followings, they can move needles when it comes to public awareness and public opinion of your book. So make a list. When you're making this list, you might even want to note on there what you want to ask them or why you think they'd be great for your book. Team number two, your book army list. Your book army is a network of people you know who will support the book. This list includes friends, family, colleagues, social media followers, groups you're a member of, clients, and basically your email lists. This is your LinkedIn network, your alumni list, your mom's friends, and so on. Ideally, these folks are people who will love your content and want to support you. But the book army is your direct audience, and they can be asked to purchase the book, leave reviews, share the book on their own social media, and to their email networks. Consider them a ready-made audience waiting for your marching orders to support your book. This is different than your influencer list, because you most likely know these folks. They follow you on social media, they are on your email newsletter list, they have connected with you or have some other shared space with you. So create your book army list. If you use email marketing like ConvertKit, which is the one we recommend, you can prepare by tagging them in your email list as book army. This list may initially not have specific names, just so you know. Initially, you might be saying, people at my real estate association, the people at my book club, the people in my alumni network. Later on, you're gonna wanna add names and communicate directly with them to see if they'll be a part of your book army. In a future video, we're gonna talk about what you'll be asking of your book army and how to make the most of a small but enthusiastic fan base because we have some great client success stories to share with you there. So those are the two lists you should get working on now. What to do with them? Well, part of what you'll be doing with them, you can learn from Amazon reviews. So this will help with what to ask. But I'm curious, in the comments below, can you tell me who the number one person on your influencer list would be or is? Let me know. And make sure you've subscribed to the channel below. Turn those notifications on, ding, so you know when a video is released and smash that like button so YouTube knows you dig this content. Now go ahead, check out those other videos to help you with Amazon reviews. Uh -huh.